Hi guys, tonight I'm going to share with you my July 2014 Project Life pages. Now this one may look familiar to you. I did a process video on this one just several weeks ago and I will link that below. So I'm not going to go into any detail on what I did on this page. The only thing I am going to add is I put this little mint sticker on that's new and I put this flip card from Simple Stories. I wanted to do a monthly card so I added that. So if you want to see how I created this page just follow the link below and I'm going to go on to the second page. Okay guys, this is pages two and three. I put them together since they lay next to each other in the binder on the left and the right side and they are all the same cards. I use the Becky Higgins Independence Day set. There are a couple of random non-Becky Higgins cards mixed in there but only a couple and this is July 4th and July 5th. We went to two different fireworks shows so I'm going to zoom in and show you a closer look. Okay this is the first card here. It just shows the park that we went to. Now this is a new area for us. We never went and saw fireworks here and I just thought it was cute to just take a picture as the people started gathering for the fireworks. I had this flare in my uh, stash that said best day and it worked perfect and this flare button here that says fireworks is from a flare for buttons on Etsy that's my favorite flare shop and I will leave a link to that below as well and this is just a picture of me and my husband and I did do some stamping here the you and the me the stamp set that I used is from Scraptastic and I did cheat a little bit this is the August stamp set and I stamped those out with blue ink and I think that looks really really cute and here is just a puffy sticker that I added to the center just us relaxing, waiting for the fireworks to start. And then down here, this card here, I just cut this 4th of July banner off of another card and laid it on top of this card to create my own. And this little rocket here is a stamp from Lawn Fawn. It is called Happy 4th. And it is this rocket right here. And I thought that was really cute. I stamped that out and colored it with my Copics. Then this next picture is of dusk and I really love that. That's my favorite part of fireworks outside of the fireworks. This card here was perfect just as it was. I did not want to do anything to it. It was just so pretty. And then here is another one of those dusk pictures. I love this so much. Then down here is when the fireworks started. And I took these all on my iPhone so I was pretty amazed at the quality that I got from them. So I was really happy. And then these are some more pictures with my journaling and just the card that says fireworks here on the top and a wood veneer. And I'm really happy with how this page came out. So let's move on to the next page. Okay, this is page two. This is on July uh, 5th. This was the second fireworks show that we went to in our local town and it was at a park as well. So I just made an introduction card for that. And here's some journaling and I added this Scraptastic tab with some Tim Holtz letters here and numbers for the date. Here is another one of those sunset pictures because I just can't help it. And the Good Times is just a sticker from me and my big ideas and it says here I stand and I thought that was really cute because that's basically where we were standing. Now this card here I really love. It is a filler card but I did add to it a little bit. I stamped out these little fireworks and that is from the Happy Fourth set. It's this stamp right here and I stamped that out and I heat embossed it with silver embossing powder and I love the way that came out. It just made it so sparkly and so fun. Really, really love that. And here's just a picture of us waiting for the fireworks to start, just being goofy, nothing special. And then here is when the fireworks started. And this card here is probably my favorite of the whole spread. This is a stamp from uh, cat's pajamas. It's called Aim High and if you've watched my other shares you will know that I am totally totally obsessed with these stamps. I love them so much and he is so super adorable. So I stamped him out and I colored him with my Copics and I did add some silver embossing powder to that as well if you can see here and I thought that just came out really really cute. I love his little nose. It's so adorable and I love the way this picture of the fireworks came out right here. I thought that was really really fun and then this so much is a cut a die cut from Scraptastic. I just painted it and added some 
uh, sparkly embossing powder on it. I really like how that came out. It's very sparkly. And then I had this wood veneer here that says fun. And I just used some snap stickers to spell out the word fun. So I was really, really happy how these pictures came out. And we're gonna move on to the next page. Okay, this is my next page and I really love this. This is just a bunch of random bits that happened in July. So we're gonna zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, this card here may look familiar to you guys because I did post it on my Instagram and I totally love it. Um, this is just commemorating my 600 followers on YouTube. As you guys know, I really keep track of that. It really motivates me to continue doing this and to continue posting videos. So I like to keep track of it. And I found this little tag here that says, work is love made visible. And I really love that. The stamp set that I used for this is also from Scraptastic. And I cheated and used a September set. It's right here, and I love that you can put the words together to build a statement, and mine that I put together is, this is what awesome looks like, and I use gold embossing powder, and because I used the fine, the super fine detail, it really picked up those letters well. Now this picture here is just a picture of Bella on my desk. She has this little toy, and this little toy has a chirping ball in it, so there are days when I listen to that for about two hours straight. And then this here is Maxwell, and I have Maxwell is magic, and the reason why I have that down is because my husband calls him Maxwell the magic cat. It's an old cartoon, a really, really old cartoon that's going way back. And when I saw this card, I knew instantly I would use it for Maxwell. And I believe when I did a flip through of these cards, when I did the monthly kit review, I even said at that point that I was going to use it for Maxwell. So I just snapped a little picture of him while he was napping. And then this here is Salem sitting on my scrapbook desk. It's hard to see her because her eyes never show up well when I take a picture with my iPhone, but she visits me so rarely on my desk that when she does, I love to snap a picture. And this little black cat sticker is from Snap Studios from the cat collection from Simple Stories. Totally love that because it reminded me of her. Now this card here says really love this. And that was this picture here. And I'm sure some of you recognize this one here because I did have that on Instagram. Instagram, Salem squeezed herself into Bella's little cat tree and she slept like that for like 20 minutes. I don't think she realized that her little backside and tail were hanging out. It was super adorable. So I wrote hashtag oops and I have Bella saying pause off because it's mine. <laughs> and I thought that was really adorable. Now on this side here, Pookie gets a bath at the veterinarians and that's what this is covered up here. It's just my vet name and location on their sign and I didn't want to show that for privacy purposes, but Pookie gets a bath every July. So um, this is her bath day. She came back from the vet all nice squeaky clean. Uh, she's getting a little older and sometimes with her extra weight, she is not able to fully clean herself. Now she has lost weight, but unfortunately it's because she is sick. We found out two weeks ago that she has diabetes and I'm really sad about it. But um, so far I have been feeding her a different food that is more appropriate for a diabetic cat and she's gonna start her insulin shots in a couple of days. So hopefully things will improve and I can just tell by changing her diet that she's improving already. She is about 14 years old so Hopefully I won't have any further news on that except for the fact that she's improved and gotten better. So that was everything on this page guys and we will move on to the next page. Okay, this is the next page. This is also just some random bits of what happened in July. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, in this card here, we got Bella her own little cat tree. We do have one in our living room, but that's basically for the big cats. She liked it so much and she stays with me and my husband in our bedroom in the evening times because she's still small and she requires her own food. So I bought her a new cat tree for our bedroom and she absolutely loved it. You can see her here. She was helping me put it together. It's so adorable. And here she is just playing on it and totally loving it. And she still loves it. She sleeps on it almost every night. 
and here is another set of pictures of Bella. Now this one I did repeat from the page prior. I didn't realize I had done it, but it's okay because I think it's super cute and they go well together. It says home is wherever I'm with you and this triangle ampersand is from Scraptastic and I it's this wood veneer I love you I believe was from the February kit. And then here's just a little story about how it's not always fun to have four cats. I purchased this garlic holder when I was in New York, not this last trip in New York, but uh, a year ago, and I paid a lot of money for this garlic holder, and I had looked for one for so long. And Salem jumped on top of my counter and knocked it over. My cats are definitely not allowed on my kitchen counters, but no matter how adamant I am about it, there is that one or two times when they jump up there and I don't have a choice. The part about this that ended up being really good is I went online and I learned how to uh, fix a crack like this because as you can see it was a clean break. There are one or two small pieces here but I used some pottery clay and some really good E6000 glue and I actually glued this puppy back together so I'm really happy. This uh oh sticker I had in my stash from like a thousand years ago so I'm not sure where that's from but these are from Scraptastic and it says yes let's not do that again <laughs> or it says yay yeah let's not do that again and ugh. So that was basically how I feel when I found it broken on the floor. So that's something that I just have to deal with with a lot of cats in this house. It's not always fun. <laughs> and then these two pictures here are really cute. This one here says goodness. It is Pookie and Bella together and Pookie mainly tolerates her, but this was really a cute little moment, so I wanted to record that. And it says, more of this please, meow, enjoy the little mo uh, moments, and I think that's adorable. This meow is actually a die cut, and it's from Sizzix. It's 100 years old, so I don't even know if it's available anymore. Now this is just a goofy throwback picture. My brother went to an amusement park near our house in New York, and I used some silver embossing powder for the throwback. That is also, I believe, a Scraptastic stamp, and I'll show you that next. This is the stamp here, and it is from the July Scraptastic kit, and it says throwback right there. And my brother text messaged me this. When we were kids, we went on this ride at the amusement park that this is from, and now, like 40 years later, he's taking his kids there, and it's still there. It's kind of scary. And just as you know, back history on this, my brothers used to call me the witch when I was little. So they always made fun of me when we went to this amusement park and saw this witch on her broomstick. And granted, 40 years later, fast forward with his kids, that witch is still there and so is the ride. And I told him, don't put your kids on that old ride. And he said, no, the ride is newer. They just kept this on the top. So he wanted me to see it. And I thought it was really hysterical and he would totally crack up to know that I put it in my scrapbook. So that's really funny and then this is a restaurant that's new in our area and it just opened up and it's kind of a funny story we went in there just expecting like casual food and it was a fancy fancy dress up restaurant I was ready to turn around and leave because I had jeans on but the owner came out and assured us that we can stay it was a quite expensive meal and I wish I was a little bit more prepared for it but we really loved it and uh, my husband's boss is going to be taking us there in a couple of weeks to celebrate Christmas. So I think it's going to be really fun. And as you can see, I heat emboss that as well with the silver embossing powder. It says a special treat. That stamp set is from the March Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit. This is the best stamp on earth. I absolutely love it. And I am so happy that I own it and I use it pretty much for all of my uh, Project Life pages. I'm a big, huge foodie, and I believe it's no longer available and very difficult to find. So I'm sorry for showing it to you guys, but I love it and I need to use it all the time. And I just had some fork, knife, and spoon stickers that I added on that. And then the last card just says smile. So we're gonna move on to the next page. Okay, this is my next page for July. And it may look familiar because I did a process video on this one as well. So I'm not gonna go into any detail on this page because it's all detailed in the process video and I will link that below as well. So on to the next page. 
Okay, this page here was actually just a really goofy page. My husband and I went for MRIs and for back injections that we both get for bad backs. And it's funny because I'm always taking pictures because I'm a project lifer, so I'm always snapping pictures. And we were in the office and my husband said to me, I can't believe you're not taking a picture. When is the next time we're both gonna be in hospital gowns sitting together? So I grabbed my phone and I took a selfie. But I do wanna show you this card because I absolutely love how it came out. It started as a black and white polka dotted card, white with black polka dots, and I added these little hospital crosses on. That is from a Paper Smooches first aid kit stamp set. And then I added sequins and rhinestones and some um, Wink of Stella on the little stars. It's a little harder to see that. And I love, love how this came out. So I did want to show you a close up of that card. And not really much more to say about this page other than I hated the MRI. It was the scariest thing ever and I hope never to have one again. <laughs> so on to the next page. Okay, the next page is my granddaughter's 13th birthday. This is a really fun day, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. Now, I did show part of this on my um, Instagram channel. I had a quick uh, picture that was kind of this area of the page here, but I used these really old thickers that I had that I was really happy to get rid of, and I did some splattering on the page with different inks. I used three different delusional sprays to do that. And these are cards that Judy Bakes 22 sent me. They're from the Heidi Swap overlay kit and I absolutely love them. This one was beautiful that said celebrate today and I did a splatter effect for the background and I colored the little wood veneer with some watercolor paints and basically the cake was uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Really really cool cake. It came out really awesome. Check that out. These stars are from Scraptastic Cutout. The Good Times is another Heidi Swap overlay and this is a Heidi swap sticker and I just really had fun. The only stamping I did on this page was the Cherish Each Day and that is from Heidi Swap as well and I thought the script went well with it. And this is just my granddaughter blowing out her birthday cake. So and that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give a thumbs up if you wanna see more shares and continue to see them. I had a lot of fun making July pages. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, so leave your comments below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll have some process videos coming up next and December daily info. Bye.